Let's say that you're running into an issue with your electrical system on your e-bike where you don't know whether or not you're getting power to your controller or the rest of the system. Now, what you can do in this situation is to basically do what's known as continuity testing. If you have a multimeter and any multimeter can do this. If you have a multimeter, you can check whether or not you're getting power from one piece of wire to another. And most of the time, this isn't really going to be an issue for the stuff that's, you know, pre-wired from the factory. But if you need to make your own sort of, uh, your own connection to finish the circuit then that's probably where you want to look and i can go ahead and show you that this this is already working since we can turn on a light and it works fine so this is um just to show you what continuity testing would look like so we're gonna we're gonna go with let's say this connector and we we don't know whether or not this connector is uh, is is good or not whether or not we've we've made a good connection maybe we haven't soldered it right over here or we didn't crimp it right whatever the case may be so this is one part this is another part and this is the part we're not so sure about so what we want to do here is we want to take this and we want to actually push this through the insulation so that the leads are going directly into the wiring. Now we're going to go ahead and put this on continuity testing. This is the symbol for continuity testing. And if it beeps, we are good. And as you can see, it beeps. And that's good. So that means that power is successfully going through this connector. So let's say we're not sure if we're getting a high resistance connection. This would be where power is going through, but it's, it's bottlenecking and you're getting performance issues. Maybe the connector is heating up. Maybe uh, not enough power is even going through it to turn on, but there is enough power going through it for continuity to to show continuity so we would switch this to the resistance and that's that's the symbol for resistance there the one on the right so we push this through again just like we did before and now it shows a pretty low number you know, if if this was if this was a very high number, it would be extremely different. So let's go ahead and, and pull this out, right? And I can show you. You know, we we push this through, and there's no connection at all. You're not going to see any number whatsoever. And. You know, you can you can look up what these numbers mean and how that corresponds to what you're looking for. Um, but that's the general basics of what you would need to know as far as checking your circuit without needing to, you know, just rewire blindly without knowing whether or not that's the issue. Another thing you can do is testing for voltage. This is good just for basics you can actually just put this right in here and it should show voltage in this case we're looking at 53.3 which is good to go you could also do the same thing by testing for voltage over here and past the point of this connection once it's plugged in and you should show voltage which you know, would be a good sign. Um, these are all different sort of methods to have a look at at what's going on inside of the wiring. And 
they are all good troubleshooting methods if you're not so sure about what's going on maybe maybe your kit isn't starting up or there's some performance issue